calculation of percentage ionization of weak electrolytes. Weak electrolytes. Let us take a weak electrolyte that is a weak acid which is represented by HE. Now this weak acid because it acting as like a weak electrolyte it cannot be completely ionized but it show in chemical equilibrium such that this HE is converted into H plus and A minus. This H plus can be combined with the water molecule like H3O plus but here for simplification we have shown this uh, equation as H is uh, converted into H plus and A minus. This chemical equilibrium constant is given by Ka which is nothing but the acid dissociation constant of the weak acid HA. Here H plus indicates the pH of the solution of weak acid. Now the pH of the solution can be determined by henderson hasselbalch equation which is nothing but pH is equal to pKa plus log of A minus by HA where A minus indicates the salt form of the weak acid and HA indicates the acidic form of the weak acid. And A minus can also be considered as an ionized form and HA is the unionized form. Now how can we calculate the percentage ionization? So again let us see the henderson hasselbalch equation for a weak acid pH is equal to pKa plus log of A minus by HA. If we rearrange this equation the ratio of the A minus by HA will be equal to 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. So when we take the anti-logarithm it becomes 10 to the power of and what are the difference is pH minus pK. So now the ratio of A minus that is the ionized by HA that is unionized is equal to 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. We can also denote the denominator as a simple one. Now the ratio of this ionized by unionized is nothing but 10 to the power of pH minus pKa by 1. Now the percentage ionized is equal to the amount of the electrolyte in the ionized form by the ionized plus unionized into 100. So as we have seen that proportion of this ionized is 10 to the power of pH minus pKa and unionized is 1. So we can write this equation as 10 to the power of pH minus pKa by 10 to the power of pH minus pKa plus 1 into 100. In this way percentage ionization of a weakly acidic drug can be obtained by this equation. Now let us see for a weak base. So let us indicate base as a B. Now this base can be converted into a conjugate acid as a BH plus. That is it is protonated because the base can easily take the protons it can be protonated easily. So now this BH plus can also be dissociated and because of a weak electrolyte nature it is not completely dissociated and it is the equilibrium. So it can be converted into B plus H plus. Now here the B is the unionized form of the base where BH plus is the ionized form of the base. Again by using the henderson hasselbalch equation we can obtain that pH is equal to pKa plus log of B by BH plus. That means unionized by ionized form. Otherwise the base by its salt. So here we can observe that the, the ratio is somewhat uh, flipped in case of a weak base. Now from this we can also calculate the percentage ionized is equal to 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus pKa into 100. Now here we have seen that percentage ionized is equal to 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus pKa into 100. This equation can also be rearranged sometimes such that we can also write this is equal to 1 by 1 plus this 10 to the power of pH minus pKa can be written as 1 by 10 to the power of pKa minus pH then into multiplied by 100. Now by rearranging this equation we will get 10 to the power of pKa minus pH by 10 to the power of pKa minus pH plus 1 into 100. Now for a weak base we can use any of this equation either first one or last one. But in the first one we can observe the 10 to the power of pH minus pKa but in the last one it is 10 to the power of pKa minus pH. And for convenience we can use the first equation always. So that is 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus pKa into 100. So for a weak acid or weak base only the difference is the numerator. For a weak acid the numerator is 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. For a weak base it is only simply 1. So in this way we can easily remember without any confusion the percentage ionized form of the drug for a weak acid as well as for a weak base. So in this video let us see if you have the calculations involving the percentage ionization of a weak acid or a weak base. 
So let us start with the first example, working example one. Calculate percentage ionized of a weekly acidic drag at a pH of 4.6 with a pK value as 8.6. So let us see the solution to this working example one. Again, the data given is the pH 4.6 and pKa 8.6. So for a weak acid, we have to use the equation percentage ionized is equal to 10 to the power of pH minus pKa by 10 to the power of pH minus pKa plus 1 into 100. So by substituting these values, this is equal to 10 to the power of 4.6 minus 8.6 by 10 to the power of 4.6 minus 8.6 plus 1 into 100. So 10 to the power of 4.6 minus 8.6 is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 2, which is nothing but 0 0.01. So 0 0.01, when it is multiplied by 100, it becomes 1. So the numerator is now becomes 1. So it is equal to 1 by and 1 plus 10 to the power of minus 2 is nothing but 1.01. .01. So now this ratio is 1 by 1.01. .01. So which is nothing but 0.99%. So for this weekly acidic drag, only 0.99% that is approximately 1% is ionized and 99% is unionized. Let us go with the second example. Calculate the fraction of the drug in the ionized form at pH 7.7 .7 of a tissue for a basic drug with pKa 8.7. So here the data given is uh, pH is given as 7.7 .7 and pKa is given as 8.7 and again here we have to calculate percentage of the drug ionized. Let us go with the solution with this to this working example too. Again the data given is pKa is 8.7 and pH is 7.7. .7. And because it is a basic drug, we have to use the equation percentage ionized is equal to 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus pKa into 100. So now this is equal to 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power of 7.7 .7 minus 8.7 .7 into 100. So 10 to the power of 7.7 .7 minus 8.7 .7 is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 1, which is nothing but 0.1. So now this becomes 100 by 1.1. On solving it gives 90.9% in this way this basic drug is 90.9% ionized let us go with another working example 3 calculate the ratio of the protonated to the unprotonated forms of morphine at pH 5 and pK of morphine is 7 here the data given is pH is equal to 5 and pK is 7 and here we have to calculate what is the ratio of the protonated to the unprotonated forms. So whether the morphine is acidic or basic. So here we can observe it is protonated. Protonated means it is uh, like BH plus. So it is acting like a base so it can be easily protonated. So morphine is having an amine group and because of this it acting like a base. Now let us see the solution to this working example 3. Percentage ionized for a weak base is equal to 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus pK into 100. That means the, the proportion of the ionized is 1 and the proportion of unionized is 10 to the power of pH minus pK. Now we can derive that the ratio of the protonated form by the unprotonated form is equal to the ratio of the ionized by the unionized. And here the ionized proportion is uh, 1 for a weak base and for unionized is the 10 to the power of pH minus pK. And here it is not the percentage, so that's why we are not multiplying with the 100. So simply we have to get the ratio of what is a protonated form by unprotonated form. So which is nothing but 1 by 10 to the power of pH minus pK. So let us see the what of the data given. Here pH is given as 5 and pK is given as 7. So by applying this uh, values in this equation, the ratio of protonated by unprotonated is equal to 1 by 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. So which is nothing but uh, 1 by 10 to the power of 5 minus 7. So 10 to the power of 5 minus 7 is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 2 which when going into the numerator it becomes 100. So now the ratio of the protonated to the unprotonated is uh, 100 is to 1. So in case of morphine the ratio of protonated to the unprotonated forms at pH 5 is 100 is to 1. In this way, we can calculate the percentage ionization of a drug at a particular pH by using its pKa value. 
So for a weak acid, it is 10 to the power of pH minus pK by 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus pK into 100. And for a weak base, it is 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power of pH minus pK into 100. So for weak acid and weak base, the denominator is same. There is a change only in the numerator. So numerator for the weak acid is 10 to the power of pH minus pK, whereas for a weak base, it is simply 1.